Hi, hello and welcome again. Microbe Hunter here. Well, I brought another microscope slide here today, but in this uh, case, I covered up uh, the slide label because I would like uh, to ask you to guess the specimen. And of course, uh, uh, I would like to, for this reason, cover up uh, the slide label. It is again an antique microscope slide, again, probably from the pre last century, maybe over 100 years old. And it is, I think, one of the most uh, pretty specimens uh, of this kind uh, that I've, uh, I've got. After all, <laughs> back in the 19th century, people spent quite a bit of energy and time to prepare those microscope slides. So I'm going to put it first under the microscope and then I'm going to reveal what it actually is. So this is how it looks like um, at a low magnification. I'm using now my four times magnifying um, objective. It's a very symmetrical uh, structure, um, evidently. Um, and uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. Uh, there are many tiny little hair growing on this structure. And I think uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go up a little bit uh, with, uh, with the magnification. The specimen has been uh, properly bleached uh, and prepared, so all of the details are nicely visible. But what could it be? Yeah, maybe if you already have a, yeah, a suggestion, leave your comment in the comment section below. Um, but I have to admit that the, yeah, it is a somewhat a rather specific structure. Um, the structure here, um, there are thousands of tiny little hair um, growing on here. Um, yeah, of course so we're looking at an animal here, or a, a part of an animal, and not as a, not at a micro, not at a microorganism. But let's go up again with the magnification. Yeah, evidently a lot of uh, care has been taken in the preparation of the specimen because uh, um, I do not see that any here are broken off here. Um, also quite visible are different segments. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give you so much information here. We're looking at an arthropod here. Um, and the question is now is this, uh, what is it exactly? Okay, yeah, so here we go again, yeah. Quite, uh, quite nicely visible. Um, obviously had to be pressed flat during the preparation process. Um, so and this is actually the reason why everything is nicely and in focus and I do not need to um, yeah, focus uh, very much because everything is in one plane of focus. Ah, here, look at those here are a little bit thicker here in nature. Yeah, so what could it be? Okay, um, if you want, you can of course pause the video, but uh, I'm going to now reveal and tell you the answer. So I'm now going to reveal the specimen and for this reason I have to of course remove the paper cover here. It is indeed the tongue of a honeybee. And here that is the, ban the binomial name, the Latinized name um, of a honeybee. And uh, this slide, as I already said, is probably around 100 years old. And uh, from the quality of the specimen, it's clear that the person who made it uh, put quite a little bit of time and of course also love into the making of a slide like this. This slide is again made uh, to last uh, for centuries. Yeah, of course, I did a little bit of research and I would like to now also show you um, a drawing, also 100 years old, <laughs> that I found here. And uh, this is a drawing of the head of a honeybee and this is the part that we looked at. And as you can see, there are many different uh, yeah, components uh, to the mouth parts of a honeybee. Um, I think it's not necessary to know how they're called, but in any case, all of those here um, that we see here are probably connected to sensory receptors, which are necessary for sensing touch and maybe also even even chemicals important for collecting nectar. So we are now looking at the tip of the tongue of the honeybee. This is the part that is actually sucking the nectar. And uh, yeah, if you also like honey, and just like I do, then uh, never forget that it's been through the digestive system of a bee before. And this is uh, essentially the start of it all, okay? This is uh, the place uh, where honey is uh, started uh, of being processed. It's being sucked up uh, through the tongue over here all the way um, into the bee. And then at the beehive again, it's being regurgitated. <laughs> and this is where we have then the honey that we like uh, to eat so much. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I hope that you like uh, these type of videos. Uh, leave your comments behind, of course. Do please consider subscribing um, because uh, there will be more videos coming in the following days. I've got still several beautiful antique microscope slides that I would like to share with you. Happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.